Hello guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it when your external hard drive is not showing up in the computer. External hard drive is usually a reliable choice to back up or transfer data, and it should be easy to use. But in some cases when you connect the drive to a Windows PC, you only find the external hard drive isn't showing up. This problem has several possible causes. The USB post is broken. The hard drive file system is not. Supported there are partition issues on the hard drive. We encounter driver problems, or in a worse scenario the hard drive is corrupted or dead. And now we're going to solve these problems one by one. Let's start. The first thing to do is to try a different USB port or PC. Because the problem may not lie with the drive but the port you're using. Just unplug the drive from its current USB port, and try plugging it into another port or another PC. If it works in one PC port, but not another you may simply have a broken USB port. But if the drive is still not detected, then we need to check if it shows up in Disk Management. To do so right click the Start button, and select Disk Management. You should see all the hard disks connected to and recognized by your computer. If you are using a brand new external drive, it's possible that your external drive is listed in the Disk Management window. Even if not appearing in this PC, because it doesn't contain any partitions. In this case you'll need to initialize the drive. So Windows can recognize it alternatively if your external hard drive shows only unallocated space. You have to create a new partition on it. This allows Windows and other operating systems to use it. To do so right click on the unallocated space and choose new simple volume. Then follow the wizard to specify the volume size and finish it. After that you can reconnect the device and it should work normally. Also if your external drive is partitioned, but it doesn't have a drive letter, or the drive letter conflicts with other disks, the drive may not be accessible in PC. In this case we'll need to assign a drive letter to the external drive. Here's what to do right click on your external drive and select change drive letter and path. If the device doesn't have a letter, click add and choose one if it does click change. And select a new one, and it's done. If the drive is still not showing up after the above attempts, then Windows may have a driver problem with your device. And then we'll need to troubleshoot driver issues. Right click on start menu. Open Device Manager. Expand the Disk Drives category. And check for any device with a yellow exclamation point next to it. Right click the device with the issue, and select Properties and look at the error message. If this doesn't work, try the Update Driver option to install the latest driver. This will be an automatic process. As a final resort, use the Uninstall Device button. Hopefully Windows will reinstall the driver and configure it correctly after rebooting. Another case is that if we have formatted the drive on a Mac and now use it on a Windows PC, the drive may not be detected because the file system is not compatible. As we have discussed above, you'll thus need to reformat the drive. So Windows will be able to recognize it again in Disk Management Utility. Right click on the external drive, and select Format. Please note that formatting will erase all files on your drive. If possible keep a backup of your important data. Ok that's all about today if you find this video helpful. To give us a like, it means a lot. And in this channel, we will talk about Windows and Mac tips data recovery solutions and Word Excel tutorials. So please subscribe to the channel to learn more.